Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Chanel entire collection I have from ready to wear, jewelry, shoes, and the bags, and also small leather goods. I hope it's not gonna be two hours long, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel and this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell button. Now, shall we begin? Let's begin with the small leather goods and these are for just different color and also these are more special kind camellia flower quilting versus these are classic ones if you ask me which wallet style i recommend and i use the most from chanel collection these are them absolute favorite just so easy and the size is so compact fits into pretty much every handbag the sister one i am using currently love the color of course the pink but also snap button very easy to access but secure enough currently i have about seven cars inside but more room the size is really really nice to hold a lot but also fit into any size handbag pretty much it's pretty small but fits in and just grab it out and use it very quickly because you've got the main credit card right here and use it and put it back and put it back to the handbag yeah easy way to use that's what i love about these two are more of special edition these it's really really hard to get hold though because before i hit to the store these are gonna be gone and i have the yellow and the pink right here and when i bought this i was so excited to get this one also as they had the matching set of the same color pink i loved and i was excited to use this as a passport holder comes with four credit card slots and just slipping the passport there is really cute cc right there with the classic diamond quality love it but Honestly, I don't really use this. I mean, passport is quite small and it, it's a, a bit of space inside of my small size handbag. That's what I normally like to carry, like crossbody when I travel. And also we have three kids and my husband, so five passports. So I have to carry all five with me. So this has not been really used. And even though this wallet is quite small, but if I am using smaller size handbag, these come in really handy and yes, can you see how slim and how small and it fits into every single handbag, of course. So I love, love, love it. Even though it is really slim and tiny, fits a lot. Yes, two credit card slots, one on the front and pretty big generous space in the middle of it so i really really love and this is the goat skin so it's more flexible so it fits a lot more than the caviar leather like this this is more like a patney it's a bit more stiff i don't really recommend lamb skin for this type because it will get ruined really fast especially if you get the lighter color shade no i don't think that's a good or at least i think it's not a good investment. Isn't this just so cute? They got the black color because there was no color for me to choose. At least three lipsticks go in here and just little small things like hairpin or hair ties. And ta-da! These look similar, right? To the Chanel 19, the CC so pretty i really love that look this is the old case and do you guys see this c has leather inside but this one has metal it's just really really pretty and different than anything i've got in my collection the color wise and also the look of them if it's my iphone that's the biggest size it is the old case medium size and this is a phone case slash wallet if you have smaller iphone and also no case it fits inside right here slipping nicely and it's got five credit card slots on the back and, and you can slip your iphone inside if you have smaller one but mine does not fit so that's the only reason i don't really use this but i love the look of it and i 
always think of using it but then like i need to get a smaller phone but i end up always getting the biggest one now let's talk about accessories first j12 my watch right here it's not actually the first one but the black one i got first diamond bezel right here and also little tiny diamonds all around it this area and beautiful sparkles inside also and this was the limited edition and also when you just look at them the black one looks bigger but these are exact same size it's got the nine diamonds here and little diamonds circle all around it and also there's the moon and half moon so this was the moon collection it's been years but i absolutely love and it's made with the ceramic and some people think it's not gonna be durable it's going to break it's going to scratch off that is not true super duper durable more durable than the gold it scratches really easily but these are not there's no even not even one single scratch there so super durable i highly recommend if you've been wanting it and if you're a fan of chanel both automatic the white one has 12 tiny diamonds and also this is with the mother of pearl it looks kind of pinky like baby pink ish and white ish it's just so beautiful you guys all know how much i love mother of pearl now i have two chanel brooches one is with the silver finish and has beautiful crystals and this black one is with the gold hardware and black enamel inside so there's no bling no crystal this i use more than this one because this blings so much and it looks more dressy so I don't know i don't really find myself using this much if you have this on this top looks like from chanel so that's one thing kind of fun to go with but do i recommend i'm kind of like half and half i do like them but i wouldn't buy more than one i mean i have gold and silver so i am all set and the drop earrings i don't remember which one was the first one i got but these are absolutely gorgeous i love the little ball right here on top with the cc these drop earrings have that vintage gold finish i love the size not too big not too much but not too tiny it's just perfect size aren't these just super duper cute really tiny cc crystal on top and have that drop pearl earring super adore love that but i haven't really worn these for a while now and now i see these look kind of similar with the look cc but these i got years ago so and also matching set of bracelet i got unless it's a gift i don't really buy chanel custom jewelry anymore but if you are interested in it and if you are just afraid to buy them just because a lot of people talk about crystals or pearls those falling out i don't think you have to worry so much because from my experience of having them for many many years i had no like zero of those negative experience just one time if i remember correctly the tiny chanel earrings with the crystals when i opened the box one was already out but i got to exchange and after that time none no issue ever these are with the bigger cc and the gold finish and the crystals i love these and this is the pearl necklace that is quite long like this and oh i almost forgot to talk about this one but this is with the gold finish and has the crystals really really pretty and the pearl and you can adjust the length of it silver finish hardware and crystals on cc's this is just so elegant and classy and you can also like double it and it becomes shorter sometimes i get asked if this is worth buying i think it's worth getting one at least not like multiple like you don't have to get more than one because you can make it shorter like this or longer just one and the reason i say it's worth it it's because i've had this for many years again but they look great 
nothing it didn't change the color it didn't change anything nothing fell out and also it looks so iconic when i see a woman wearing this with the white button up shirt and having that red lipstick and really clean looking fresh makeup that looks just so so classy and just iconic i love that look so i'll forever have this one i love it still i recommend it and this necklace has the pendant with the cc and the pearl small tiny pearls these didn't come off at all and the gold is not like super yellow like brush gold style but more of like light gold also this is quite long and biggest cc i think i have inside you can see beautiful diamond shape quilting looking with the mother of pearl finish this is also ever classy and super iconic now let's begin with the handbags and I have so many in front of me I don't know which one to begin with and there's no particular order I'm just gonna grab and tell you what it is and what I think of them this is one and only top handle style mini classic this white color in particular is more creamy white color it's not stark like super white white so it goes really well with this brush gold hardware i love this piece and i adore it and actually millie from samorga she helped me out to get this one because it was all sold out here and yeah it's coming from south korea and even though it looks just like classic mini rectangular but it is seasonal piece as it's got the top handle it doesn't always come with it so the chain is a bit thinner than the regular classic i'll show you guys later on but this is the white color with the brush gold super gorgeous and this is the pearl crush i should have the beige clear here too and you can now see these are the lambskin beautiful super yummy kind and it's very 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 soft softer actually than other lambskin i have actually i got the black color organizer from samorga but the lining is gold and i wish i got the gold color or similar that and speaking of organizer i love samorga organizers so if you're interested in getting organizers and also chains you will see here and there in this video also use my code to take 25 percent off and if you purchase 99 us dollar or above you will get this free gift it is beautiful iridescent bigger pouch that is the promotion going on right now at the moment so till it's all gone you will get that pouch yeah and use the code cares 25 and of course this video is not like working for them you guys know i love details but i adore this little pearl cc right here and this ginormous pearl with that diamond quilting looking finish and this cc is like the button you can move and make the chain length the way you want i love this black one so much so when this became available i went for i think this is the lightest color i will go with for lambskin yes i was tempted to get the gray color they also have and it comes with the light gray color it's really beautiful with especially with the brush gold that combination but yeah i settled with this beige clear and i love it so much now let's talk about the chanel classic this is the medium size and the barbie pink beautiful i love it this pop of beautiful pink shade you can wear it this way and this is black caviar leather and this is also caviar leather but I don't know if you can tell the difference this caviar leather is more shiny even though they're all caviar leather this one also they are different slightly more shiny less shiny so more matte and also sometimes it's more supple almost like lambskin but it's got the grain like look so every season chanel has a different type of caviar leather and the viewfinder it looks kind of shiny but actually it's pretty matte finish and also the grain is quite deep so 
yeah just a different look and this is with the gold yellow gold hardware the shiny kind and I love this but I do get asked quite often if I will let this one go ever since I got this one the small lambskin and this one has the rose gold finish hardware the look and the feel of lambskin it's just so luxurious I mean, you can tell this is a lot more pinky than this one this is yellow gold and this is rose gold and until this time Chanel never had rose gold finish hardware so this was very popular and very hard to get so it's special but this again yeah so classy it's just the top classiness that you can get from chanel so i don't know what to think but i don't think it's worth keeping both of them so i'll be still thinking about it but you can email me and ask yeah by the time this video goes up i may have decided which one to let go and, and guys this chevron red classic medium do you remember I was crazy about this when I just got it and also before I got it it was just impossible to get it Hannah my personal shopper in Paris she got it and hi Hannah if you're watching she's got the second baby and so happy for you congratulations and I think of her actually when I use this handbag just so grateful she made an extra effort to go and look for this particular handbag for me so it was just yeah amazing and thank you Hannah for that and anyways I love it love it love it love it it's with the silver hardware I think the combination is just so fresh I always think of chevron quilting looks more modern and also more youthful and super fresh but then having that silver hardware that combination is just just perfect can you believe chanel used to charge more for lambskin but nowadays a lot of people want caviar leather over lambskin and now they sell with the exact same price for both lambskin and caviar leather and i think you need to go with caviar leather if you are getting the first chanel bag unless you really 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 want lambskin because it does last longer and you won't get so obsessed or you won't baby the bag too much in the us they call it light gold but i think in asia they call it rose gold it looks like silver it looks like gold in just different lighting it looks like pink purple and it came with the silver hardware and chevron finish and it's the medium size the first time i saw this was in hawaii not this one but the black one i saw it that was like first time they released the trendy cc and i really really loved the look of it just at first sight but the price oh my goodness i was like how could you charge <laughs> the seasonal bag more than the classic jumbo at the time so i said bye for it at the time in hawaii but i kept thinking of it so ended up buying it but honestly i don't really really use this trendy cc i've been using this small size classic so much but this being a bit bigger and a bit bulkier i don't know i think that's the reason i don't wear this handbag and also it's lambskin a lot to care about having three little kids and with that shiny gold hardware that plug is just extra for this handbag that makes a huge difference this i never wear crossbody because it's so big to wear as crossbody but i'll always hold it with the top handle it's just like the lv push and matisse three different compartments when i see this handbag it looks like higher class people will wear that type of look very desirable and attractive bag very luxurious like i could drool over it <laughs> chanel bucket bag when i see this handbag it makes me smile just so cute and it's just a perfect the size not too tiny not too big now they have like super tiny style but this fits really good amount as you can see there and i love that having 
four feet down there and also it's just fun to use this handbag this you press and make it like lose that chains and this was the seasonal bag so i don't know if they still make this exact style but i see here and there similar style it comes with the long strap also this is not the size i would like to use crossbody i like it to be a little bit smaller but when i have to have my hands free i do wear crossbody and yeah i can have my kids with me so easy to use and also i love this heavy top handle as well and when i don't want to use it just put it down it disappears because it's attached from inside so this is like so nice and guys this is the heart bag black one i have it's lambskin and light gold hardware and this is just the cutest little thing you can open this up and wear it as a belt bag there but also you can wear it like upper crossbody like bum bag style lipstick key fob and airpods hairpin or cards some credit cards if you don't care too much about having your phone inside of your handbag this is nice addition to have but do i recommend it i don't recommend this it cost three thousand us dollar i don't think it's worth it but if you love heart shape this will be something very very special for you it is cute so so cute now back to chanel classic here the small size small love 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 i am not normally gray color lover or gray color person gray color to me is more of a sad color so i'm not really excited about gray color in general but this gray color is different it's got the blue color undertone and it's lighter like baby blue color shade i love it so so much this gray shade is my favorite gray shade i have in my collection i don't know a lot of people love jumbo size but small size is just perfect in my opinion for my body frame and my height and everything and the style i normally go with the size small fits the best and if i see the used ones that are in great condition with the good price i'll link to them down below for the classics and also the ones i showed you guys in this video so you can see exact same one that i'm showing in this video and also some i've seen having great price with the great condition so yeah check those out also as i know the prices are just going insane they are keep going up and this one is white color caviar leather with the light gold and the size small and i have the top handle from samorga i love 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 using that to wear it like top handle handbag and also i can just hold it this way it's just easy oh this is beautiful another pink shade classic and you may think it's the same pink shade but they're not this is the barbie pink really pop up beautiful color it's more bright i'm so glad i got this being obsessed loving so much so wearable wearable more wearable then this one for some reason this is cocoa handle and this is a lilac and it's like pale lilac color if you go right next to it you can see how pale this is but for some reason this is kind of hard to match my outfit i have no idea why almost looks like white color cocoa handle it's another beautiful chanel bag I love this little details with the Chanel on both sides. The top handle is round and just really comfortable to hold it. This is a mini and comes with extra mini, like super tiny and also the small and medium. I don't know if they come with large size anymore. And from the beginning when I got the black one, so remember they priced it really well. If you have the budget and you don't wanna pay the price, for the classic go with the cocoa handle i still think this is really nice classy shape and the look from chanel and it's functional love the top handle the strap is quite short for crossbody so i added this 
pearl extension from Somorga. That's why it's got there. But some people think that's how it's supposed to look from Chanel. But it's actually extra. So and ta -da! I still have the jumbo. And this is a super white, snow white, white color. It's got the matte finish, caviar leather. It looks just so beautiful classic and fresh i love it it's with the light gold i know from last video where i showed this handbag i said i'm not sure if i should let it go or keep it but now i'm pretty sad to let it go because i do have more than one like white bag which was my dream color chanel bag i just love this size and it just fits a lot more than the smaller size classic flap handbags that i have but it is too heavy for my poor shoulder, so I just don't wear it, really. I don't wear it, so if I don't wear it, I have no point of keeping. So if you want to get this, buy this from me, please email me to lvlovercc at yahoo, yahoo.com. I still love it though, and last time when I showed this um, in my video, I said I will keep it because I don't have yeah more jumbo size anymore but i don't think i have to have the size just because i want to complete that whole collection like mini small medium jumbo but again if i don't use it there's no point of me just keeping it just because i want to have it it's like like brand new condition filigree or a vanity case or like lunchbox <laughs> it's really really cute i love the look of it and it comes with the lock the cc right you see and the keys you can lock this handbag in the middle of this zipper section there's like round area to it so you can lock it but why would you do that right so i just have that still here but you can take that off and this being medium size still it's great size to wear crossbody i really really love this handbag and i love the contrast cc quite big in the front but it's beautiful with that gold little thingy right here and i talked about maria my new personal shopper in the u.s she is the one when she worked at chanel boutique in boston she's the one got this for me and i from that time still i was in contact with her so now she became you know personal shopper so anyways i'll have her info down below she is a lovely lady i think of her when i see this handbag because i really 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 wanted it and it was impossible again to get it but she found one for me um I was very very excited and this handbag is very special still in my collection i love it so much it's like a lunchbox very cute but so so classy and it's like vintage looking when it's not a vintage handbag love that also the contrast black around that beige and here is the chanel 19 size small and this is with the more of curly pink shade light baby pink and i just love how comfortable this handbag is and also even though it is really squishy handbag it's really durable and it's different than what i have in my collection especially for chanel handbag it's more casual i would say with this chunky hardware the chain being a bit thicker and chunkier it looks quite cool different vibe for having this bag and also i really like the pocket on the back it has really nice size it's like the total amount normally it's like tiny area right my phone is the plus size but it fits in with the case on but this handbag is the small size the smallest they have for chanel 19 and also like big extra big diamond quilting it looks really modern and it looks now i love that fact also and top handle of course i always love so it is more of casual side than the classic bag that you can wear more dressy biggest size chanel bag i have now duval tote size small 
I have the full leather and the color ivory with the gold hardware. It's beautiful with the studs in gold and it is big. Even though it is size small, it fits a whole bunch for me. So when I need to carry like many diapers and I have to bring laptop or I have to bring something of a whole bunch, I bring this handbag and I just really love it. Even though it is full leather, it's not too heavy. That's the crazy thing about this handbag. It comes also with the raffia style, the fabric, but the heaviness is not too different. And also those are quite heavy for some reason, even though this is full leather, believe it or not. I don't know. I didn't really measure them, but it feels lighter. And I love this two shoulder strap. You can wear it with the shoulder this way. It comes with the two top handles. So you can hold it up like this or you can use it in the crook of your arms like so. So different ways to carry this tote bag. So that's maybe why I don't feel it's heavy at all. And this is the backpack, black color, chevron quality with the calf leather, comes with the silver hardware, and this is the size large. It's actually not really large, like big, if you think of large, large, like large size, but it is quite big compared to the small size that they have, and it's just really durable. I love this backpack, but I have not been really wearing this before COVID and also when my kids were younger. Now my oldest is eight. So less things I need to carry day to day. So this backpack, it fits quite a lot. So I've been wearing this one when I need to wear a backpack. And this size is like small, but it fits everything I need. So I've been wearing this one when I want backpack from Chanel. Now let's talk about this backpack. I love this combination, like 100% or 100% 20. I love it. The color is just so unique. It's got three different color combination, baby pink on top on the flat area and also baby blue right here and the baby green, I would say. And on the bottom, we have the pink shade also and the strap is the blue. So really nice combination. And we have the light gold hardware, double CCs here and there. And it's got magnetic opening and really nice space and also there is the flap area where you can sleep something inside it has a, this d-ring that you can attach something on it on the back there is the zipper area and i also love the fact that this is so unique even though it is classic shape because of the color combination i don't see it anywhere if you're not a backpack person but you are interested in chanel backpack i highly recommend because the concept of backpack, it's got to be super casual. It's like school days. That's what you would think of. But Chanel backpacks are different. It's not like thick straps, like, uh, you know, the way how you wear like LV Palm Spring. Not like that, but it has quite thin. It's like the same chain style as the classic flap comes with. So it is backpack, but it looks like more of handbag, if you know what I what I mean. And my latest purchase from Chanel, and this is Gabriel backpack. I love it so much. I'm so glad I got it. And this was one of the bags that I've been just really, really, really wanting, but I could not get because it's just not happening they don't have it they don't make it much and chanel has been making less and less of their gabriel backpack that's what i heard from salespeople. but it is just so popular and if you haven't watched my unboxing video of this backpack you can watch it right here because i talked quite a bit and in that video i said the chain strap is quite thin so i thought it would dig in but it does not dig in at all. When I put the water bottle and everything, it still does not dig in. And inside, I also talked about things falling in, but having that Samorga organizer with the top closing, like so, it's just, again, genius, genius, genius. 
so i just have been loving this backpack so much and very cute with the white and the black bottom here is the chanel 22 the latest it bag from chanel before i bought this bag or before i decided to buy it i honestly thought it looks like plastic like black bag like you know the trash bag type of bag i just didn't think it was attractive and also it just didn't look like chanel bag i didn't like it but the more i see it here and there i could picture myself wearing it also as totally different type of handbag i don't have anything like this in my collection everything pretty much is more of a structured handbag that's what i normally like that's what i think they look more luxurious than like a hobo style like this until i use this bag for the first time 70 percent i was like i liked it but 30 percent there was a feeling like oh maybe i made a mistake i had that type of doubting you know thoughts but the first day I used it, I really enjoyed it. I was really shocked. If you saw my what I wear video, the recent one, you could hear from me saying, I love it now. I know it's a luxury and it's pricey. So it's risky if you're getting something that you're not 100% sure about. But you know what? Still, when you're 100% sure about buying something and you bought it and you use it, you may not really love it. What I'm saying here is you just don't know until you use it. And this is a really good example. I loved it, how lightweight it is. And also it was really comfortable wearing it with this quite thick of that chain. Very easy to open and use something in and out. Inside, I brought the pouch that I talked about, the iridescent pouch, and I had quite a bit of stuff, but I don't know why but it was not heavy at all and it felt really comfortable i'm not a tote bag lover or i don't really wear a tote bag on the shoulder because i do have shoulder issue and even though i fixed it i just like to go with like easy way so i normally go with top handle or crossbody or something just to holding it up that way i don't really press anything on my shoulder but wearing this on my shoulder wow very very comfortable alrighty let's talk about the chanel classic this is a rectangular this is square as you can see which one do you like more which one do you prefer after having both in different colors i prefer the square more over the rectangular even the rectangular fits easier and you don't have to squeeze or arrange so much because the shape of it it just looks so adorable but rectangular is really nice classy shape and you think of classic medium that's what you know it looks kind of similar the strap length is so much shorter on the square mini than the rectangular so if you are taller than me rectangular will just look really nice with that crossbody strap length this may be something to consider before you buy it but for me i think because it's so cute with that square shape mini shorter length fits really well for this style of it so it's just perfect combination in my opinion and if you are not a big fan of crossbody then square mini may be the perfect way to go and wear it like this way but if you like crossbody option and if you're taller than me rectangular will be great option and you can actually tie this strap on top of it and wear it shorter and this is another way you can do to make the chain shorter but the classic flap has the thicker strap i don't think that looks nice but the classic pearl that i have with the rectangular it is way too long do you guys see how long that looks so this i always tie on top of it and the reason it looks fine is because as you can see the shoulder strap is really thin it's a seasonal piece so it doesn't look too bad and i crossbody it it's just perfect 
like so. This area where the turn lock is, it's all leather. Black right here. And also the lining is all leather lambskin. I have the organizer here, but the lining in here is with that satin finish. So it's just nice combination, different than just full leather. And speaking of that, I have that denim, one and only denim handbag I have is this little cutie. How cute is this? I love that it's square shape and also I love this CC. It's really thin. And honestly, until this became available for my essay, I kept going back and forth, back and forth. Should I get it or not? Should I get it or not? Because I wasn't sure if I would love denim handbag. If you like jeans in general, denim, you will love this. Yes, perfect for summer. Yeah, so I adore this denim bag. And I have the patent leather here. This is the chevron and black with the silver hardware. I love this thing, guys. This, I talked a lot about. This is my most worn Chanel handbag from last year. We said it. I use this bag when it rains and looks like it's gonna rain. I'll just pull this out. A black patent with silver hardware. They're just the perfect combination together. I love it. And I always wear this with really nothing type of casual outfit because it really stands out. It is like pop of handbag without a pop of color. Does that make sense? I love that look. Let's go with ready to wear items. This is the jacket that is very interesting. The black color velvet finish jacket that is really, really cute. I really love these small pearly hardware with the CC. Each one it's got has this on the sleeves right here and also on the bottom here. These are two cinching. You can make the bow here and also you can tie this area and this part also. Look at that cute pocket with the CC buttons. Actually, I got this on sale in Texas. I tried a few ready to wear items. I didn't see anything I really liked, but this was just so cute. I just love black and white from Chanel. And this is like velvet finish. Only thing is that it just gathers all the lint here. So you've got to have the lint remover when you use this. So that's the only thing, but I adore it. It's really, really cute. Okay, next one is this. If you saw my Hawaii vlog, shopping vlog, and also unboxing, you would have seen this. I love it. Navy blue with the white color mixed together, and it's called Fantasy Tweed jacket. It was super popular. This was the last one. I got the size 34. This is another really cute style. The lining is 100% silk. It looks like just navy blue, but when you have this move a little bit and hit the right angle, there's like a CC and also camellia flower everywhere. And also Gabrielle, when she made the jacket, she added the chain on the bottom of their jacket, like every jacket, the classic style. It's to give the weight to the jacket to fall nicely. It's really nice quality chain even right there under the jacket. I love that story behind and also how thoughtful she is. Yes, I love learning and looking at the details again. Navy blue and white. How class is this? This must be my favorite. And also this jacket is lightweight. And this is the denim jacket, the black color. And I love looking at Chanel buttons. Am I weird? But I enjoy all the details. It has the dots outer side of the circle and the CC, but inside it's glossy. This denim jacket is more casual and more loose style, which is not really my vibe. Normally I go with more structured finish look. Even though you see the CC here and there a bit, still it's understated. And this is a super classy design. Chanel jacket. It has a black and ivory and a bit of silvery theme thread 
going through a tiny bit right on the sleeves. This button is super duper big, giant, but clear and tiny CC in gold in the middle of it. It's very interesting on this super classy style shape jacket. And this jacket is in size 40, but they alter it to fit like 36. And the good thing about getting ready to wear items at Chanel, they can alter with whatever way you want. You want bigger, you want smaller, they can do a lot for you. So that is nice touch and it's complimentary. So yeah. And this jacket comes with the chain in gold. And this is another denim jacket. And this is my latest Chanel ready to wear item. I love this denim. The pastel colors going through with Chanel and here and there black also, but pinky shade, little light purple shade also. And that makes it more unique and it looks really similar in shape and design of it to that black denim but actually really different this one has more cuteness with the pleated details on the bottom to make it more rounded and really really cute cute looking so actually i like this one over the black one adorable denim jacket guys it's getting later and i changed my outfit to go out so let me finish up with the shoes now i love chanel hospitals and the stickers i'll talk about it but these boots are my like i would say my favorite purchase from chanel i actually would have purchased these before these went on sale but because of the sizing, I wanted to go into the store and try them on. And when I was gonna pay for them at the store, these were on sale. So I was like, yay, this is like meant to be. And I love how comfy these are. Not too tall as you can see. Gabriel Chanel Coco and the other has CC. I love those details, but also the color is perfect, super neutral. And as you can see, it's a suede leather, but still really durable and I didn't really spray anything but I wore them so much but still looking really nice I love this how they normally do the cap toe having different color shade and super classy just like their yeah ballerina flats with the black cap toe and the beige clair here I love these still now and these are my favorite pair to wear when I am wearing like red color outfit or the brownish color or actually any color white looks so good super elegant together but also black matches with the black outfit and also pop up color like this it looks really nice together like especially the red color goes well with the beige and the black color now after having these now i know what to tell you do not go with true to size but size up half half is good i think I got 37 my true to size. Now these are pretty tight. I have no idea. They used to be really comfortable, fine. Maybe I gained weight. Maybe my feet became bigger after giving birth. I got these earlier on, very old. That's a testimony. <laughs> I wore them so much over the years. Don't they need to get more like bigger or loosen up after wearing years? It's just so strange to see that. I have no idea, but from that, I wanna tell you guys to go with half size up because I got 37 and these are quite tight now. And after loving those, I went with the red color shade and the cap toe has the red color patent leather and the CC right here. The red color, honestly, I, I don't really wear these, the red shoes but i love having these just so so classy when i need it i'll have them so yeah i'm glad i have the red color but in the flats from chanel wow guys i have never looked at the bottom of my shoes until i filmed this type of video oh my goodness i didn't know i wore these so much but i adore these i love them actually i love these more than those classic style because the quilting 
right here. When you get the Valina Floods with the quilted one, these cost actually a bit more than those just a smooth style. But in between there is something so that makes it more comfortable and more cushy and yeah because of that reason I recommend this more than the smooth style if you're into the Valina Flats and these maybe some people think these are dated or they look you know oldie but I don't really think so. These are always in style and also I love this baby pink shade because very neutral. Let's talk about the sneakers now. Black and white, black pretty much all on top, bottom the white color and you can see the contrast of CC there. Absolutely love. The look is nice and quite sporty I would say. These are lightweight and I love how comfy these are. Love love love. Actually I prefer Chanel and I recommend Chanel sneakers over LV sneakers. I wouldn't say they are not comfortable from LV but none of them I could say oh yeah so comfortable you should get them. I wouldn't say that for LV sneakers honestly. They're well made and they look nice but these are really comfortable. You could actually run in these. That's how comfy these are. But LV? No, none of them. They're not. And these were the ones I got after I had these. And if I have to pick one, this will be the winner. Because these have better platform. It's taller but really comfortable. Even inside of it, there is the diamond quilting bottom here and it's cushy. There is one more layer to it. Of course I didn't make these but you can just tell from wearing them, walking in these, especially these. I, I wear these all the time when I travel. These have thicker, like a harder bottom here. So it's not as comfy as these but oh, these are the best. I got the white one because I already had the black one but if I didn't have this one I would have gone with the black and actually these look so similar. So similar to my Nike sneakers and both are very comfortable. Of course these are heavier than the Nike ones but Nike ones are meant to be you know for working out but these you could work out also. Maybe not for the price but I love them. I'll love to get another color. These became classic at Chanel. These I got 37 and a half because they didn't have 37 at the time. You should go with true to size. And these are another Chanel sneakers, a different style. These are more of smart casual than super casual, I'll say. But honestly, I didn't really wear. When I got these, it was similar time when I got my Dior sneakers. Similar to these but has Dior yeah, name. Those are really comfortable and the look is just cute and feminine and I love those more than these. So if you are thinking of picking one out of Dior and these because they look so so similar, I'll say Dior. They're so good. The pearls, beautiful with the CC on the back and not too tall, pointy and it has fabric V right here on the cap toe and also these are just smooth leather. I love the combination. I love the look of them but again <laughs> Dior always wins. These are comfy also but Dior shoes are just I don't know why. I always pick those over Chanel <laughs> shoes. Yeah, so I've been wearing more of Dior. Similar one but black and white. But these are all black so actually Dior shoes are better than even LV and the Chanel. I don't know why. They make it so elegant and very comfy and also the feminine style I really like but Chanel makes it more chic design so maybe that's why. But anyways, these are really nice classy style also. And you guys remember Aspidrols? I used to wear them so much. I still wear them but not like before. These I love the color combination. Very neutral and so good with gray color jeans and also light blue shade. Beautiful. 
yeah love them and these are with the sequin white color cc there and oh i always get true to size 37 the lambskin these are so comfortable now black one and also the beige with the black capital about espadrilles a lot of you ask the same question again black or the beige which one should i choose i say beige always first because it elongates your legs because the beige shade also it's got the black capital super classy it's just the best thing you can get from chanel for shoes black it's nice also but to me these look more expensive honestly and also it's more elegant you look than all black but black is nice yeah black is black black suede leather with the pearl details the suede always i love even though they don't wear really well compared to just smooth leather they're more comfortable so i love these so much and they wear so well as well and the pearls never come off that's what i worried at the beginning but they just they stay there and these are the limited edition aspirals these were inspired from korean traditional the dress uh, hanbok so i still remember that's another reason i went for these because i'm a korean and also it was very special that they did in korea also for that whole collection was inspired by korean traditional outfits but of course the color here and there i don't really go for these so if you're interested I am open to let them go even though I know the story behind still I don't wear them. there's no point for me to have so yeah let me know these are size 37 I say true to size and black capital with the patent leather and the CC also the patent leather Chanel sandals with the light gold hardware CC there and I love that quality on the bottom here nice with the white summer dress it looks just really really fresh and if you're interested in these let me know also true to size 37 combat boots from chanel two things to mention these are really heavy so if you don't like heavy type of shoes don't get them and another thing i wish they would make a little bit longer here and slimmer so we look a bit more feminine than these these are very chic and make you look really cool with you know jeans and yeah i love wearing these with dress really cute combination but that's only like two wishes i have <laughs> but nonetheless i still love them beige black capital keep saying very classy but these i have never worn oh my goodness you see square shape it's really interesting and i love the look of them the side diamond quality beautiful black trimming right here and the black cap tail lovely again these if you're interested i'm open to let them go 37 true to size very comfortable I just... thank you so much for watching i thought adding everything together for one brand maybe a good way to go and you guys might be interested to see everything in a video so i hope you enjoy watching and if you was if it was helpful please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye guys